Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob Cameron, and this is my review for Ricky and the Flash. Do you know what's a generally safe bet with when you go to see the movies? Meryl Streep movies. If you go to a movie and you see that Meryl Streep is starring in it, you're like, oh, that would be pretty fun. And even if it, even if it is a chick flick, and, and this movie definitely kind of fits into that chick flick category, but I still had fun with it. And I'm sure if you guys go see it, and or if you have already seen it, you'll definitely enjoy it. I mean, it's not one of those chick flicks where it's just, you're just sitting there in the movie theater like, Ugh. you know, you're just not like, like sitting there just like hating yourself. You're still gonna have fun. It just, it's not the greatest thing in the world. So in this movie, Meryl Streep plays this aging rock star and and she's kind of a small, like, a small-time rock star. And and she's kind of never, like, left a certain circle. Like, she's gotten her songs out there, but she's never been, like, you know, big time. You know, like, like some, like, a lot of other rock stars. So, one day she gets a call from her ex-husband, played by Kevin Klein, who says that their daughter's husband has left her for another woman. So Meryl Streep flies out there, and it's basically her trying to reconnect with her family. Now, like I said in the movie, I had a good time watching the movie. On the one hand, because you knew going in that there was, this was going to be a family drama type of movie, but they did a good job with not beating you over the head with it. They weren't, they weren't like, you know, like, you didn't love me, you didn't love me, you know? They just did a little small exhibition thing like, where were you? You just left us out to dry, you know? And they just left it alone, you know? And they just, you know, kind of went on with the movie. And I kind of liked that about the movie. Meryl Streep was awesome in the movie. Then again, she's awesome in almost everything. Well, except Mamma Mia. Um, Kevin Klein was pretty functional in the movie. I think he could have been played by almost anybody over 50, like any male actor over 50. But he was still pretty good in the movie. And nobody was truly, like, phoning it in. Like, even, like, Rick Springfield, who played the love interest of Meryl Streep. Not Kevin Klein, but Rick Springfield. Who I kind of thought was just going to be there, you know, like, because it's a movie, like, embedded with all these classic rock songs. And he's kind of been a kind of a big influence. I kind of thought he was just going to phone it in. But he's really not. Like, you, like, you know that he's more used to singing than acting, but he's definitely, he doesn't really like pass it off. He tries his best. So in the end, this movie, you'll definitely enjoy it and you'll have a good time. Uh, but I highly suggest you either watch The Gift or just if you're not interested in that or stay home if you're thinking about watching Fan Four Stick, which the review for that will come shortly. But for Ricky and the Flash, I give it a solid three stars because I enjoyed the movie a lot and I'm sure that you will too. So what did you guys think of Ricky and the Flash? And what's your favorite Meryl Streep movie? Whatever it, that may be, comment, leave a comment below and tell, and tell me. And also leave a like and subscribe and also tell me and also follow me on my social media accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later.